Good afternoon, guys. Okay, so like I said, this is the box packing and farewell video of my Saskia. Most of you knew him as my Caleb, but uh, it appears that now my Caleb is now a little girl, and I truly do hope the new mommy takes care of this precious baby. I, you know, I kind of my heart kind of hurts right now. I feel like maybe I shouldn't have done the trade in the beginning, but what's done's done. I just hope that she loves this baby and takes care of her. Um, I did get everything packed and ready. So all I got to do is get her bundled up and, and bubble wrapped and stuck into the box. But I kind of wanted you to see what she's going home in. So she is dressed. Um, I did wipe her down clean her eyes and condition her hair and as you see over here all her little goodies are wrapped I'm not sure what box she's gonna fit in but what I'll do is I'll just pause you so I can get her get her ready because uh, I got to grab the bubble wrap over there too so I may wrap her and you guys can um, watch as I do that I need to grab some ceram wrap as well so hang on one second guys Okay, so I have her sitting up, and I wanted to go ahead and get her little hair wrapped down a little bit. I just think it helps with flyaways and what have you. So it's not so much of a box hair when she gets to her new mommy. Just kind of lays up there. Now she does have rooted eyebrows too so those are kind of just laying over that okay I had to prop something behind her so she would sit up a little bit I did reweigh this baby to be nice and heavy and floppy this one definitely was my cuddle bug I will say just want to make sure this is going to work yeah Okay, I have to grab the other tape. Bear with me. What did I do with it? <laughs> Hang on, guys. Okay. I do want to make sure that it's down, but I don't want to put tape on her. So... I kind of got to tape around. Okay. I feel like doing this instead of the diapers, I feel, provides a little bit more protection. And I also feel like it doesn't mess up like the eyelashes and hair as much this way too. I just want to make it a little bit tighter. So basically, she just can just slide it off. The cover is going to keep it held around the head. So that will definitely keep her safe. I do think I want to put one more around the back. So give me one moment. Just wear her. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure that way there's no doubt that this baby is extra safe. I will so miss this baby, guys. You know, I will say this. If you, you know, if you guys dive into wanting to do a trade, please be sure that you know the person. Please... And it's not even that. Be sure that you're ready to let that baby go as well. Um, I will say after this trade, I think that um, I kind of don't want to do trades in the future. And I, and I know that's sad. But um, because I know there is. I'm not saying she's dishonest. But I mean, yeah, kind of. I feel like. She had to know those revolving spots, and I just feel like, in a sense, 
she could have been a little bit more detailed and honest with me about that. And I'm good for my word. And she did, I will say she did send everything that she said she was going to send. She did ship out when she said. So that's why I was very confident that everything was fine. So I, I was really confused when um, I opened the baby to see that. So, you know, I even took every precaution by having her send her baby first and that didn't seem to matter either because you know there's still going to be an issue if you know of what what you saw happen so it's unfortunate and it's okay because I'm just so glad that we could agree on something and I'm glad that we did and she was willing to pay for the other baby's hair to be rooted and I am so grateful for that so new mommy if you're watching thank you I mean, this could have went so wrong so fast, so I'm glad it didn't. I'm glad that in the end of the day, we're both going to be happy. I know I had to be patient a little longer for my baby, um, but I'm sure the artist will get her done as soon as she can. Um, this baby girl should be to her new mommy within three days. Um, I do ship that way. I do insurance and signature confirmation and all that good stuff, so she will have her soon. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's hard to, to do a trade because, you know, you can doctor pictures and I, or doctor pictures. I'm not saying that she did all this, so please don't, I, I'm not bad mouthing her. It's not what I'm doing here, but I'm trying to say that if you do a trade, you just be sure you know the person, be sure that you're ready to trade that baby and ask all the questions in the world and what I suggest if you know it's a baby that has been in the community track down you know previous mommies if you can and ask all the questions you can I mean obviously don't send a million questions you know and aggravate anybody <laughs> but you know you know just make sure you know what you're getting into what baby you're getting and just be sure <clears throat> That you're ready to let whatever baby it is go. Um, I had a lot of comments from you guys. And I want to say thank you for all the support. A lot of you told me not to send her. And um, believe me, I considered not doing so. Um, but I think what made me decide to go ahead with this is. Uh, one, you know, I do know the other mommy wants this baby. And, you know, that's great. And I, I made her that promise that I need to bring her down. That I would send her out if everything was up and up. And since she did uh, make this right, I, you know, I do want to stick with what I said. Um, but what mainly made, made me decide to go ahead and ship her out. I'm, she's such a big baby. Is that I feel like these are... Very expensive, beautiful piece of of artwork, and um, I know this is gonna sound funny, but you wouldn't take the Mona Lisa and throw paint on it or rip a hole in it. I mean, that would just be devastating on so many levels. And I kind of feel like, you know, <laughs> that's how it was with the other baby. I mean, I feel that. Um, that work of heart, that work of art was in a sense destroyed and I will feel good knowing that it will be repaired. And if that means to let one of my babies go and work on it to get that done, then, then so be it. And I will be happy about that. I hope that makes sense to a lot of you. I just hope that I have made the right decision <laughs> and I hope uh, this new baby will be loved um, but yeah I hope none of you are mad with the decision that I have chose um, it was a very hard one so um, yeah it definitely was it was definitely a hard decision to make you know it was not easy like I said I hope everybody understands too 
of where I was coming from with this. So, but yeah, and I know that once the other baby is rooting all that good stuff, you are going to absolutely love her. As, as you already saw, her paint is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and she is a prototype baby, so she should be worth, you know, a lot once she is fixed. Um, this baby is in perfect condition, as you guys most likely know, so um, she has no problems there. Now, this baby is definitely um, a lot heavier than <laughs> what her baby is, so the shipping is going to cost a pretty penny, but I'm sure she's going to be super happy when she sees her. I will be sad though and I'm just so glad that I've took a lot of pictures of this baby and I'm so glad that um, you know I did a lot of videos and what have you so that uh, I can look back you know it's unfortunate that she doesn't have a channel but she is on Instagram so I will let you guys know where the baby's going so hopefully she will post um, I'm hoping she will post pictures of her she said she would so that's great I guess I will miss this beautiful baby so she is definitely protected <laughs> she has got an extra amount of bubble wrap on her so she is not going to get damaged in this box I also as I always do I lined the box with the big, big bubble wrap like what was on her head so even if she bounces around in the box, she is totally protected. All right. I'm so sorry about all the noise. I know that's probably aggravating, but there she is. Oh, nice and bubble wrapped. So we have all these little gifts I wanted to kind of show you, which is everything that you saw wrapped, or I'm not sorry, unwrapped in the earlier video um, smelly good thing a couple pacifiers she also has her modified pacifier and um, pacifier clip in the bunny just to show you this is her COA and birth certificate so that is there now I just need to figure out I was going to try to see if she can go back in the box um, the box that she was sent in because I think she might have to be curled up a little bit but I think with it being wider um, it may be a better box but let me pause you so I can get the bubble wrap in the bottom of that okay this is the box that I'm going to try to put her in first so let me try to do that Oh, she's so heavy. So sorry. Like I said, this is a uh, seven pound baby here. And the good thing is, is I'm not shipping to Canada. I'm trying to put her in a field position here. Because if I was, that would have been pricey. Okay, she actually does fit in here. I'm going to try to scoot. I had to put her like sideways in a fetal. Let me try to scoot the box where you can see it. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Should have left everything on the sides. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm dropping everything. Okay. <laughs> All right. So she is in the box. All right. Now, we just got to figure out how to get everything. So, I'll put the smelly good thing in there somewhere. Really? I'm dropping everything. So, paperwork. Um, stick at the end of her feet because I don't want it moving around much. I put um, that there. We could sit this in front of that so it's not moving her little bunny. And then there's another one of these. We could stick those down there. Put 
this one here. Keep her from moving. Um, let's see. That one might be good there. I'm going to stick this one down in this cup until that fits really good right there. Uh, let's see. Try to make the softer one here. All right, it looks like everything is in the box. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I will have to put a lot of tape to keep it closed because it's one of those kind of boxes. Of course, I got to take my old information off and switch it. But I can go ahead and take this shut so that you know that that has been done. Oh, shoot. I'm so glad I stopped myself. I was going to... Um, line it with some pretty paper here. And I almost forgot. Stuff that down in there. There we go. Should have opened it and did it, but it was it's kind of see-through, so if I would have did that, you would have been able to see right through. Okay, try that again, guys. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We have that still in there. Alrighty. So I'm gonna just tape. This bottom here closed, that's going to help me. And then I'll go around all the sides, obviously. I want that to be nice and tight. Okay. And I want to do that long ways here, too, because I mean, I will go around the sides, but I need this to know that it's staying. Okay. I'm going to do that with all the sides, and then I'll go long ways with it. This is just kind of to keep it. Yeah, because I also have to pull off those old stickers and put new ones on. All right, so I'll tape all the way around it and all that good stuff. I'll probably wait after I get everything clear, decorate it with stickers, and I'll attach those pictures to the end of this video so that way you can see that. And uh, then I'll put the address and ship it off. So please wish this baby a very safe travels to her new mommy. And I hope her new mommy loves her and takes very good care of her. And uh, I also will be shipping out. I would show you, but I know um, YouTube is cracking down on things. So I don't want to show a headless baby. <laughs> but I did take everything out. I'm a little concerned. The, the sack that holds the glass beads inside the head seems to be glued to the top of the head. So I did slice open the sack and empty out all the glass beads. But... Unfortunately, I had to leave that in there, so I'm going to have to contact the artist on that. I, I was afraid to pull it and then pull more hair out, so I'll have to touch bases with her to see uh, what she thinks about that. Um, but I will be bubble wrapping that baby. Actually, hold on, I'll show you the box. I will be sending the baby's head in. So yeah, so at the end of the, after I get this packed up, I have the bubble wrap and all that. I will be putting the head into this box, and I think um, I will show that at the end too. So all right, I'm going to wrap it up here. It's been almost 20 minutes, so thank you for joining me, and thank you for all your comments and your support. And, you know, I, I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, thanks, guys, and until the next video, see you later.